Hi, I'm Karen Weingard and I'm going to be teaching the Twinchy Album Workshop. We did do a Twinchy swap at Retreat when we were live and in person in Wisconsin, so we thought it would be fun if we created an album, a handmade album that held all the Twinchies. So if you see inside, we have some of our swaps from the August Retreat right in this little album. There's two inch by two inch pockets. They're four up on each little page. So let's get started. First locate the spine piece, it's the skinny one. Take your ring binding a unit and you're going to center it right onto the spine, top to bottom, left to right. And just mark those holes with a pencil. Using the crocodile tool, go ahead and punch those holes. Next locate the spine wrap piece. This is actually the taller of the two. First, Measure one inch up from the bottom edge and make a pencil guideline. Next, measure in two and a quarter inches from the left edge. This will mark out the guidelines we need for placement of the spine piece. Spread book binding glue onto the spine piece. and place that down using your pencil guidelines for placement. So you should be one inch up from the bottom, two and a quarter inches from the left edge, and burnish. Next, find your cover pieces. You'll want to place these horizontally on your work surface. The way you can double check for that is just to make sure that it's going the same direction so it's the same height as your spine piece. On each of these, mark a two inch pencil guideline in from one of the short edges. Next, we'll, mark, we'll spread glue in the marked areas, so only from the pencil guideline to the edge. Taking care not to get glue past the pencil mark. And we're going to place this on either side of the spine piece, allowing about a quarter of an inch space between the spine piece and the front cover. And you can actually double check for that, just making sure that the pencil line lines up with the uh, spine cover piece. And repeat that with the other cover. Another way to make sure you've got that quarter inch allowance between the spine and the cover piece is just to lay your ruler along the bottom edge and make sure that you've got that quarter inch spacing. And burnish. At this point, you'll flip over the entire piece and we are going to spread glue on the rest of the exposed bookboard area. And, at, and once it's spread, we'll go ahead and add the front and back russet outside covers. So just spread the glue from the spine piece over to the edge, and then you'll lay your russet piece right into place. Once the glue is applied, one way to make sure your cover piece lines up and you don't get glue where you don't want it is to start by laying the cover piece on the spine and then slowly dragging it over and dropping it into place. That way you can be assured the covers meet, but do not overlap. When spreading the glue, just make sure that you're not getting it on your work surface. There's nothing like getting glue where you don't want it. Now you'll notice our holes have been covered, so we want to transfer those all the way through so that we'll have those marked spaces. You can use the tip of a pencil or the tip of a bone folder to go ahead and punch that through. So we're just transferring those pencil marks right through the spine piece. And I like to just tuck those edges in by twisting my pencil. Next, flip your project back over and we're going to be mitering the corners. One way to make sure that you are leaving enough space at the corners when you miter is to use our grid ruler. Uh, it happens to be 1 8 inch thick, just like our book board. You can tell it's about the same thickness. Place the ruler perpendicular to your work surface and then just hold it at an angle on your corner to create that pencil guideline. Do that on all four corners. 
Use scissors to trim away the excess using that pencil guideline. Once all four corners have been trimmed, it's now start time to start training the paper so it'll fold and wrap. So just taking your bone folding tool, I like to just lift up the paper and you're just gonna start kind of training it so that it'll go and wrap around the edges when you're using the glue. Now that our edges are prepped, we're gonna be placing glue on the edges of the flaps. You wanna work one flap at a time, and I find it easier to just start with the two long flaps first. So to glue, the best thing to do is to place um, a bead of glue next to the book board, just a narrow bead. You may even have enough glue in your brush from before, but just work from the edge of the book board out. Again, holding it up from your work surface will help you prevent from getting glue where you don't want it. So one section at a time, just start to wrap those flaps and press them into place. Once you have your long sides wrapped, I'm gonna show you a little trick about tucking the corners. Because we left a little bit of that eighth inch overlap there, you wanna make sure to tuck those in. So I just take the tip of my bone folding tool and just kind of tuck it in with the tip. So I'm just pressing the paper into place and you'll do that on all four corners. Once you've tucked, you can go ahead and glue the last two flaps. If you've watched our bookbinding videos before, you can feel free to fast forward and just keep working. Now you can see that we've lost those holes again. So it's time to transfer the holes from the spine piece into the, book, uh, the inside cover where we've wrapped the flaps here. So again, just gently take a pencil and poke right through to transfer those holes once again. Now it's time to add the inside covers. Locate your inside cover spine piece. You can tell it's the right piece and it's going the right direction. If you just, while it's, before you place the glue on it, just kind of dry fit it, you'll see that all the edges align. So it's really important you make sure that's going the right direction. Spread glue onto the non-textured side of your spine piece. Making sure you're getting to all the edges. If you need to hold it up off your work surface to make sure you don't get glue in the wrong spot. And then just place it down, making sure the edges align and that you have about an eighth inch exposure on the top and bottom edges. saying Karen we've covered those holes again so one last time we're going to transfer those holes right into the inside cover piece Next is to glue the inside cover pieces on, and you can tell those are going the right direction. If you just dry fit those, it's pretty obvious at this point, but just in case. Um, these are pretty small. You're going to spread glue on the non-textured side of these cover place pieces and place them down. Now, if you need it, some, maybe you want some scratch paper, and that'll help you keep your, glue, your work surface glue free. Again, just place it onto the inside cover, leaving that eighth inch top and bottom. It's actually gonna be an eighth inch on all three sides here, and it should butt up right against your inside cover, spine cover piece. At this point, you can use the pad of your finger to start to locate where the spine and the covers, you left that quarter inch gap. 
Just kind of start to burnish that into place because we'll start to kind of train that. For when it'll eventually fold closed. While you set your set cover piece aside to dry, we're gonna prep the little pocket that'll go in the inside back cover of your book. Take your bone folding tool and your ruler and you are going to score at a one inch up from the bottom edge. And this should be horizontally on your work surface. And then you'll score one inch in from the left and right edges. And I'm just gonna fold along those score lines. Maybe. You can see we have the beginnings of a pocket here. Next, we wanna eliminate the bulk from the corners. When cutting the 45 degree angle from the corners, you wanna make sure that you're cutting through where the lines intersect, those score lines that you created. And you can see when we tuck this all in, that's gonna create a cute little pocket for your back inside cover. So that it's placed like this, we wanna make sure that we glue the flaps, but we're gonna glue on the outside flaps. So again, just make sure that you're spreading glue just on the flaps. And you may need to hold it up from your work surface to keep the glue from getting where you don't want it. And then you'll just place that in the inside back cover. And I'm just leaving about a quarter inch reveal from the bottom and right edges. So now we have a cute little pocket. Finally, it's time to add your inside binding piece mechanism. You should have two brads and your binding piece and if you've transferred your holes appropriately, those should be lining up just right with those. The tip of the brad looks like a little um, Phillips head screw, and that is the, the decorative part, so that's gonna go on the outside. So just place the brad from the outside in, and you'll wanna bend the prongs as snugly as possible, and use your bone folder to really get in there and get that tight so you can see you don't get a lot of wiggle and repeat with the other red. And now you can see the interior is all complete. Just gently start to train those edges. And there's your cute little binder. Now we have some decorative elements included in the kit. You have all these cut aparts, so you really have a lot of choices as to how you're going to decorate the front of your book. You should have a black matte piece that fits perfectly on the front of your book. And then you can choose from any of these larger designs. The seeing, the seeing is believing is a great one for the front. So you just take your trimmer and you're gonna go ahead and cut those out along the pre-printed the pre -printed guidelines that are included and decorate the inside of your book. All these are designed to fit in the inside pockets that are included with your album, all those little page protectors. There are some two by twos, just in case you don't have enough twinches to fill your little book. There's also some four by four pockets. So you've got different decorative elements to include in that. Let's take one last look at the cute little Twinchy album, all completed and loaded up with Twinchies. You can see all the little pockets, hold all the different Twinchies that we collected at the August retreat. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you'll join us again soon. Mm -hmm.